know why it's got to act up. I don't understand it. Hopefully it doesn't kick us off again. Anyway, I just use primer. Gosh. What I was saying was that I did a pull and stuff and you guys, it was like tied. So, um, I'm just going to go with the palette that I kind of have a deadline with. Because I technically have a deadline for multiple of them. But one I got before the other. So I figured I'd just do that one first. Hi Karen, how are you? Hi gorgeous, how are you? Say hello when you jump on. How is everyone doing? Earlier, well actually, last night I set up an adorable playpen. It was adorable. It was uh, a playpen like styrofoam thing. So it had like a little basketball hoop attached to it and stuff. It's super cute for little ones. I had it all connected and all good. And Kazzy took it apart. It was ridiculous. He took it all apart apparently this morning. Hi Beverly, how are you? I'm good, how are you? How old is your baby boy now? He is a, he is one and, let's see here. We're October, November, December, February. Where are we in, March? So he is um, one and six months right now. He's growing like a weed. It's ridiculous. It is ridiculous so much. He's so fun though. Right now he's with his dad downstairs and stuff in our room. They're watching TV together right now because Cassie's all cuddly wuddly with him. So Cassie was taking a nap and stuff and now Ray woke him up and stuff to get him up. And now he's sitting with him and stuff. So super cute. Wow. Yeah. Yep, I know. It is wow to me, too. I agree. That's crazy. I have a almost... He's going to be two this year. I think that's insane to me. That I'm going to have a two-year-old. That's insane. I don't even know what to say to that. <laughs> How is everyone doing? I missed you guys. Sorry. Sometimes I just... I don't have time to do live sometimes. I try and do my best and stuff with it, but sometimes I just, I don't have the time because of Kazi and stuff, but I'm working on figuring out my schedule because lately my schedule is so messed up right now. He's going through a growth spurt and because he's going through that, he's like not wanting to go to bed at a good time um, and he's like wanting to stay up and it's just, it's a lot. So then mom's up all night and... Ugh, it's just driving me up a wall and I just have not found time to come on here with you guys because my schedule's all messed up. It's either I'm sleeping through the whole freaking day with him or whichever, but we're working on it. We'll get better. As soon as I get our schedule freaking figured out and getting it all fixed up, then hopefully I'll have more time and stuff to schedule specific. But I do still post on, like, TikTok and stuff. And you guys will see videos on um, the palettes and stuff like that there, too. So, if you guys are like, well, I miss your videos and stuff, just go over to TikTok, you guys. Because over there, I also sit there and I do recorded videos and I upload them. Sometimes they're a little faster for me, so I just do it that way. Lately, though, I feel like, I don't know, I feel like I've been just kind of trying to relax and stuff, and, you know, it's been a lot. It's been a lot already this year. It's insane to me. Insane. Insane to me. I feel like it's one thing after another with this year. I feel like, I don't know if anyone else agrees, but this year has kind of sucked already. Like, it has not been a good year so far. 
<laughs> we thought it was going to be a good year, and it was like, haha, just kidding, nope. Because <laughs> it's like, really? All these not great things are happening and stuff, and it's like, really? Oh, <sighs> frustrating. Enjoying the wig that I have. That's awesome, Karen. Alright, so we just use uh, the Beauty Highlighter Palette with You Can Be, you guys. You guys not have not tried You Can Be products? You need to. You need to. You need to, you need to, you need to. Alright. So I will show you what I just got in the mail today, but we're not using it today, so... Sorry, but we're, we're not going to use that today, but I will show you it. So... But, um, I just got this in the mail. This is my King Beauty package. So, I ordered the Puppy Eyeshadow Palette. It is freaking adorable. Like, look at this. It's adorable. And, you guys, it's on sale right now for $7. And if you use my discount code, you'll save, um, 10% off your order. So, look how pretty this is. And look at the little prints are all in like the matte shades here. Little puppy prints. It's so cute. Also, this only took a week for me to get this. Um, their shipping is really fast now. It used to be super, super slow and stuff. And it's gotten faster. So, from King Beauty. So, love it. Love it, love, love, love it. Alright, uh, I'll buy another one soon because my grandmother is sending me up to Easter card. But I'm excited to try this one out, just not for today. So I got a deadline. So, um, then this is another one. I don't think we're going to use this one today because, like I said, I have a deadline with the other one. So, I'm going to be using um, this other one I'm going to show you in a minute. Um, okay. But anyway, this is the Florence You Can Be palette, you guys. This is stunning. I love it, love, love, love it. Um, my manager here, my um, product manager and stuff like that, informed me that she actually ended up coming up with this layout and stuff. So, I thought that was really cool. And she based it off of, um, how do you say that name? Marino, 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 something like that. Um, he is a famous, um, artist and stuff. And, um, he has a color palette basically. And what that is, is like a bunch of different vintage hues and like cool tones and stuff. So that's what she based that off. This is one we're going to use today. You guys are probably going to, uh, let's see if anybody can guess, okay? Anybody can guess what this kind of reminds you of. You can let me know if uh, you think you know. So, this is the Ken Miller Land Moon Createst palette. And it looks like this. And the color story probably looks super, super, super familiar. So, yeah, I was shocked when I saw this and stuff. Wow. If you guys know this color story at all, you guys should comment below and let me know. Let me know if you know the color story. Let me know. All right. So, we're going to use this one today because, like I said, I have a deadline. Um, I need to do a look with it and stuff. I need to take a photo or so of it and, well, a photo of me with it on and stuff. So, I gotta do that. So, because that is the one thing that I've been, I do enjoy doing and stuff is like, I kind of like having the small deadlines and stuff just because it's kind of nice. Because then I got to focus on something, so I kind of like it, but. Alright, this is just concealer that I'm putting right here. There's actually a shade in here I'm going to use for brows, too, because there's a dark brown. So, there's this nice line of browns here. You definitely could use one of those shades for, like, a brow, I feel like. And it doesn't matter if you are... 
you got the reddish browns or anything like that because there's reddish in here and then there's the regular browns over here so that's really nice you've got a nice little um oh what's that called a good section of them all right i'm gonna go in with brows real quick so we're gonna go with lava Oh yeah, that's a good shade. That's a pretty good shade. There's a little kickback, but not much. Like, it's not super bad or anything. Brow don't look too bad. All I'm doing is kind of lining it. Going right over the brow hair. So that's just how I do my brows. And this is a very thin brush, so. We'll see how it actually turns out. This new palette is going to look absolutely stunning on you. Which one? Which one? Do you mean this one? Or do you mean the other one? This one, you guys can snag. That was weird. I don't even know what that was. Um, this one you can snag off of Amazon and I can get you guys the link for it. I'll probably post a link or something in like the comments of a look at this or something. Both of them really absolutely gorgeous. Oh, thank you. Alright, that looks pretty good. Alright, I'm gonna jump in. <sighs> yeah, there's definitely a little kickback, but it's not as bad as, like, some others, so. Alright. What do I wanna do? Mm. I think we're in... Oh god, it's a freaking fly. <sighs> Please ignore my jump. Because that was ridiculous. Alright, I'm going to jump in with Power, which is this one. Now, I will say this does not have a mirror in it or anything like that. So, if it's a uh, mirror type you want, this is not one that you're going to want and stuff because of that. But, I will say, I'm going to say it now, now that, like... Nobody really comments stuff. I'm sure comments will probably flood in later, but, um, so this palette, I kept saying, like, it looked really, really familiar and stuff. This definitely, I feel like, if it's any, like, really good when it comes to pigment and stuff, which so far looks pretty good, um, I feel like this could be a nice little dupe for the James Charles palette. Um, if you guys don't want to spend a lot, a lot, a lot of money for the James Charles palette and stuff, and you like the layout, you like the colors and stuff, this might be a good alternative for you. It's not the exact, but it definitely, if you put them side by side and didn't zoom in and stuff, you would swear that they both were like almost the same exact palette. And it's insane. I'll probably post both pictures just so you can kind of see. But I will say this was more affordable than the James Charles palette also. But. And this one was actually sent to me. I will say that. But again, I've told you guys before, no matter what is sent to me, you guys are going to hear my full review. Like, you're going to hear my honest truth on it. Like, if it's bad, I will tell you. Right now, though, it, it looks pretty good. Like, it's even doing a pretty good job on, like, this blending here and stuff, too. So, it's not bad at all. Um, what was I saying? So, but anyway, yeah, this one was sent to me. I got it sent to me and stuff to review. So, so far, I like it, though. Because right now... 
I'm kind of shocked because a lot of times I do have to be careful and stuff. I've told you guys before. I have severe sense of skin. So the fact that this is not bothering me or like burning, it's not itching, it's not doing any of that right now at all. It's not bad. I kind of like it. And like I said, I'm kind of happy that um, this is like a dupe basically for the James Charles palette because no offense to James Charles and everything, but, um, I just, I'm not going to pay a super, super large, large amount for that palette when I got this one way cheaper. Plus it's actually really, really nice. So I'm not mad at it. I don't know what you guys think, but it looks pretty good to me. Alright. I am going to jump in again. Let's see here. I'm going to go with this one. <laughs> Ow. Excuse me. Alright. I'm going to jump in with... Mm, freckled, which is this one. Oh, and I do think it's kind of funny, though. Um, some of these are obviously not the same name on the James Charles palette. But if you compare the two and you zoom in, you will see the names for each. And um, this is actually pretty close to some of the names and stuff. Some of the names are very um, almost the same, except for they're missing, like, one other word or something. So... I'm just going to take this. So I got a question for you guys. Since there's a couple of different people on here and stuff. Does anybody on here watch anime at all? I'm curious. I enjoy anime and stuff. So I've been watching a lot of, like, the romantic comedy animes and stuff. They are, like, my favorite genre. Found out one of my favorite stores of all time, other than Shan, has a buy two, get one, sale, urban, planet. Nice. That's cool. All right. I'm going to jump in with a shimmer. What should I jump in with? Mm, that's kind of conspicuous right here. I don't know how to pronounce that one, but that's the one we're going to go with. Oh, okay. So it's a nice little light, light coat here. It's actually pretty nice. I like that. And again, I don't really feel like it's irritating or doing any of that, so that's really nice. I like it. Alright. I am going to jump in with dark, which is this black one here. And we're going to use that as an eyeliner. Yeah. So I'm going to jump in with dark. I'm going to use that. Uh, an eyeliner. Because I've said before, you don't always have to use, like, an actual eyeliner. Use a little bit of shadow and stuff, and you can do it that way. I'm going to take this one bomb downstairs, too. So I don't have to remove it up here. Alright. Ow. 
my nose. Um, let's see here. Let's just use this one. I'm going to take again ink. This is what I'm talking about. Use a nice flat brush. And you can make your own little eyeliner wing using the shadow. Um, I have no idea what they made for dinner. We haven't ate yet. They were in the middle of making it when I came up here. So I have no idea. What did you eat? See? Very nice. Very nice. Alright. I really like this eye. What the heck? I really like this. Alright. I'm going to have to grab another brush. Let's just grab this one. This one has no color on it. I'm not using any color. I'm just going to kind of sit here and blend a little more. Right here. That's better. All right. So yeah, this is the Creatus Land Moon Ken Miller palette. Super beautiful, like I said. And definitely, like like I said, it definitely could be almost like a dupe um, for the James Charles palette and stuff when it comes to like the layout and everything, the shades and stuff. So. When you're finished your video, I'm going to crop dinner because I really wanted to see your live. Aw, I'm obsessed with crop dinner. Oh, nice. Very nice. All right. Let's go in with a tiny bit of blush here. And then a lip. What lips should we do? Should we do a dark one or a light nude? What do you guys think? dark light nude um pinky what do you guys think let me know in the comments tell me why i'm sitting here and blending this Just gonna blend this out oh beautiful blush what about you do you like craft dinner yeah though it's pretty good um I don't know. I I think it's okay. <laughs> I think it's okay. I'm not a huge fan, but that's just because we've had it so much. All right. For a lip, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? Are we going to do... Let's see here. I don't think a dark one would sit well with this, honestly, because this is like a dark. I feel like we need to do a lighter type. Maybe this one. Oh, wow, that's like extremely light. Mm, I don't know about that one. I don't know. It's not bad. I don't hate it, but I don't love it. What do you guys think? I don't know if I like that. I feel like it needs something. Hold on. Yay or nay? This is more pink. This is a darker pink. What do you guys 
think. I don't know. I'm kind of growing on it now. Dang it. Why is it every time I do that? I'm like, ugh, oh, no. And then it's like, mm, it's not half bad, actually. That one's very dark pink. I even swatched all these and I just forget them. That's like a peach, I think. It's like really dark. This is the one we used last time, and this one is like that really, really dark, 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 purpley pink color, but that is not for the eyes here, I think. No, that's too much. I don't know, I think, I actually think I might just leave this one, because, I don't know, it's not bad, it's kind of growing on me now. Because I think it just kind of looks good with the eyes, but it also kind of looks good with the blush. Alright, now that I'm looking, let's see here. Other than my choppy wing right here. It actually looks pretty good. I'm not mad about that. Okay, that surprised me. And actually, I was really looking forward to this palette, and I'm actually really, really happy about it. So... Um, okay, cool. I have a little time. So I'm going to name this off real quick and show you guys. So we've got Dark, Power, Well-Known, Fox, Bright Orange, Butter, and then we've got Candy, Pink, Crystal, Elegant, Ruby, Red Mud. Then we've got Gorgeous. We've got Freckled. We've got Conspicuous, or however you say that word. We've got Caramel. We've got Cotton. And we've got Glisten. Or Gold, my bad. Gold, right? Gold and mango, my bad. Uh, cotton is up here, my bad. And then glisten is right here. And then we've got cookie, rubber, trunk, and lava. Which what we just used was lava, and we used, um, power, and we used freckled, and we used, um, the conspicuous one. That's what we used. So. That was that palette. Super, super gorgeous. I'll have to take a photo or so in just a second. So, anyway, I hope you guys have a great rest of your night. Enjoy the rest of your night. Um, I'm going to hop off here and, like I said, do, like, a photo or so of this look real quick. I will make sure that I link this in the post that I'll do in a little while. Um, so that if you guys want to try this out and you're, like... Number one, you're like, oh, I don't want to pay a super, super a huge amount for the James Charles um, artist palette, or crea hmm, artist palette, whatever that one is. I forget what it's called. But anyway, that one, um, this one might be a good alternative for you and stuff um, to test out and everything and see in the first place. Whether you like the shade um, layout and all that kind of stuff. Or the shades in general. So, but anyway, I hope you guys have a great rest of your night. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys in the next one.